So you came, courier, to what? Watch your homeland burn one last time? Kill me, perhaps? Judging by your shadow, maybe you can't let your machine go. Doesn't matter now. Either way, the Divide Giants are awakening. The missiles here on their way home. There is no way to stop them. You've answered your own question, and you'll die with that question on your lips. You don't see, listen, even when it's all around you. No matter if I nailed it into your head like a gift from Kaiser. You brought the divide to life, courier. You walked the road, brought the bear, then the bull, brought me, following your tracks. And when I saw the divide you made, I saw a second chance, a new way of thinking. My world, no longer the East. And you brought the West in that package, destroyed it all, nearly killed me, flesh and spirit. You destroyed something larger than the bear, greater than the bull. And even when you could have turned away, you brought it again in that machine. You destroyed a nation taking its first breath, a place that could have been my home. Now, I'll destroy yours. No, now there is purpose. I believe you when you say you were careless. The divide, the chip, the machine you brought here. Many messages can be taken from that, intended or not. What I do now is an act of conviction. <laughs> Blame you? No. Learned from you. Both the weapon to kill a nation and the strength to do it. You showed me a road, a way to carry my message. You've already answered for what you've done. Now the flag you follow will answer for it. No, not the Mojave. The West. All that's been built since America died. Same symbols as before the war. Now a flag carried by a tribe of children. You walked the West, didn't stay. You know the reason. The bear grows without structure, follows a symbol without knowing its history. After this, only one flag will remain over the Mojave. Let that one fly, or destroy itself. <laughs> no need to destroy the bear, just cut its throat. You taught me that at the Divide. Only need to cut off the supply line, the road, to watch something greater die. I'll turn the long 15 into miles of fire. Cut off the Mojave. NCR will fall back, lose Hoover Dam, and leave their throats exposed to the Legion. Yet you follow nothing. You have walked the mo- The why of it. You taught me the why of it. If you believe in something enough, you must be willing to let it burn, lest it claim you. These governments of the two-headed bear, the Legion, they carry old world ideas into an age that no longer needs them, where they cannot live. Our history, the divide, that history.
history has been written, its lessons learned. There is nothing more to be dug from these cracks in the earth, no more fury to be torn from its sky. My home in the East, Drywells, is no more. It is part of the Legion. The only other home, the chance of a home, was what you built at the Divide. Then you destroyed it. There is truth in that. History has proven it. But Mojave's proof that no homeland is sacred until the larger symbols are destroyed. Whatever is built, the bear, bull, even Vegas, will tear it apart, convert it either with purpose or by accident. this. I'll finish history's work. Let's end. walked the Mojave. Let the shadow of flags fall upon you. Yet walk carelessly. No allegiance. Your words empty as your actions. Our history. The divide. That history has been written. Its lessons learned. There is nothing more to be dug from these cracks in the earth, no more fury to be torn from its sky. The missiles will launch. It is enough. It may be that as much destruction has been written in the earth here, you may build something else as you built the divide. You have spoken truly. There is a shadow of a nation behind you, the hope of a people. Yet it may not matter. The divide still stands against us. Our enemies gather outside, shadows of the bear and a bull. They will have found their way in, just as you did. It was always my intention, in case I could not kill you. The marked men would flood this place, cut off your escape. If we cannot prevent what comes, then let us make our stand here. Two couriers, together, at the Divide.
They come for us.
fitting. Beasts from the Divide. To the Divide they return. Killings, let them rest. Experiment log 369248-A, iBot DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Dr. Whitley presiding. Initial tests of the override system are promising. Against unsecured or lightly encrypted targets, the iBots have a 98% success rate. More heavily protected systems are still problematic. Military-grade encryption presents a very real possibility of critical overload of key systems. We've stopped tests before any robots were destroyed. But if we don't address the problem, our iBots will fry themselves hacking military networks.
still burned lightless in the night, invisible fires of radiation scorching it from within and without. It is said a man still walked its streets with a tattered jacket and old world flag etched on the back. He remained there, perhaps as punishment for the scars he left on the wastes, or a reminder of a history he could not forget. For Ulysses, his journey was over. The courier had been the end of his road. As for the courier, she turned her back on her home for the second time and made her way back, navigating the treachery of the Divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure, as if recognizing the courier's right to passage, or out of fear. The courier walked until she stood again upon the edge of the Divide, the last road she would walk before the second battle for Hoover Dam. There, beside her feet, was a final package from one courier to another, a footlocker bearing a gift and a message. But that message, it is something for couriers to carry and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide, reminders that the old world histories persist and find meaning in the present. It said, war, war never changes. Women do, through the roads they walk. And this road has reached its end.